People say that we should discover the beauty of ordinary things with camera. The way I see it, not everything in life is worth filming. A local director once asked me, what's your dream in videography? I said, making movies. Oh! Okay, that sounds hilarious. Let's say I want to make short films. Because life is not as fascinating as films present, we use camera to beautify it. Even walking to those intriguing scenes, hence the word cinematic. Bad composition and lighting can ruin cinematography. Even TikTokers know how to make their videos comfortable to watch. None of those top influencers are bad at filming. Then there's difference between capturing the world as it is and creating a world which seems unrealistic but intriguing. <laughs> it holds on to colors in the deepest of shadows and also in the highest of highlights. And it has this linearity to the image that makes grading it really, really easy. There's also another orange light on her face and neck. And it mimics the sunset, I think. They probably use negative first too. So in the glass of the clock, it would reflect some of the blue. So it would look somewhat like early morning sky. And then down the back here, to continue on with that blue, I added a full blue gel over this glass door. So it has the same effect. Hey, let's for a moment forget about daily vlogs. It's cinematography we are talking about. Something that often drives me to overthink how to make a good video. But it's never too late to realize that cinematography is just part of the movie industry and social media. Beyond capturing stunning visuals, a film involves storytelling, lighting, composition, sound design, editing, and much more, where gear only contributes about 20% of the effort. The desire for gear can hardly be a problem for me. I mean, if I manage to cut out most sugars and carbs on a daily basis, how difficult can it be to stop wasting money on needless gear? There's more if you want your video to be movie-like. When you've done crafting the images, it's about time to upgrade it a bit. Writing a script. Did you notice that those short dramas are actually serious in production? Because they have a storyboard to act out, so everything is pretty organized. I don't mean planning the whole video ahead is necessary. More inspirations may come during the editing. It's just that sometimes when you need to think like a director, and in order to accomplish the project, we may also need to be able to act, edit, such as matching the clips with music and sounds, and color grading them. Fun fact, this Hollywood movie, The Possession of Hannah Grace, was shot entirely on a Sony A7S II, an 8-bit camera with barely 11 stops of dynamic range. And then the creator, an 80 million US dollar movie shot entirely on a Sony FX3. Well, that explains a lot. Filmmaking is not about cameras. It's about the person behind them. There is even more when it comes to algorithm. People might not like the way you tell the story. It's not like they pay for a ticket to sit down in a cinema. They practically got nothing to lose by clicking out your videos. However exciting the rest will be, your commitment depends on whether you want to please yourself or attract others. Or both. Sometimes you may either play alone or lose your audience. I'm still learning, hopefully making progress. The least you can do is to turn on your camera and hit record. Better yet, come up with a good beginning, which can really motivate you to finish the whole video and catch people's eyes. If you ever felt lonely in this film your life thing, just take a look at the world. Connect to it. It's crowded with enthusiastic people. And be reminded that a camera may not take a great picture any more than a typewriter wrote a great novel. And you know what? Hitting the thumbs up button and subscribing are free. So you might as well do me a favor, witness my journey and march with me.